Welcome to Simple Review, the series where I briefly play a game, review it, and keep it simple. If at any point you find this review to be helpful, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Now in this review, I'm covering Arcadegeddon on the Xbox Series X. When playing this game, you will have two core experiences, PvP and Arcadegeddon. PvP will match you up with a few other players to compete in various unique game modes. Arcadegeddon, which is the main experience in the game, is a roguelike in nature. You will battle as far as you can through several biomes, completing different objectives. If you die, you will have to start over. This mode can be played solo offline, if needed. Both the PvP and Arcadegeddon mode can be played with up to 4 players online and supports crossplay. Now when it comes to gameplay, the local arcade is under attack from a virus placed by an evil corporation that is trying to hurt the arcade. After playing through a lengthy tutorial that explains this, you will then have the option to customize your character and jump into the PvP mode or the Arcadegeddon mode. Character customization is more than just cosmetics. You have several abilities and weapons to unlock that will slowly allow you to become stronger. All this can be done at the expense of an in-game currency earned by completing challenges or by normal gameplay. These challenges are usually pretty simple, like killing a certain amount of enemies, getting long-range kills, and so on. Once in Arcadegeddon, you will load into a biome with your selection of abilities and weapons and begin the run. Dying during your run will end your adventure and send you back into the arcade. All weapons and upgrades found during your run will be lost upon death. Additional starter weapons can be unlocked if you loot weapons and use them often. Biomes will be filled with hostile enemies, bosses, and loot boxes. Each biome will have an objective that will be required to complete in order to move on. Every time you advance to the next biome, your difficulty will increase. And that's all that this game has to offer. Now from my experience, I'd have to say I was really happy with this game. The steady progression made playing feel rewarding. Being able to earn currency from both game modes makes both modes justifiable to play. Visually, the game looks very polished, gunplay feels very good and responsive, customization allows you to easily distinguish yourself from other players, I did find that the objectives got a little repetitive throughout the runs, and story-wise, the game was lacking, but besides that, I really can't complain about anything. So with that being said, I'd have to give Arcadegeddon 9 pepperonis out of 10. And that'll do it for this review. Comment below if you have any questions, and I will try to help.